Your details now on a story we first brought you as breaking news on Eyewitness News at noon. The investigation continues tonight following the near death of a child in Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is learning more about the circumstances surrounding this incident and joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph. We just learned from police that this 16 month old boy suffered chemical burns. Police and the DCYF are now investigating whether it was accidental or something criminal. The Department of Children, Youth and Families says a 16 month old boy from Providence was admitted to the pediatric intensive care unit at Hasbro Children's Hospital on Wednesday. A DCYF spokesperson characterized the case as a near fatality and said the department is now investigating allegations of abuse and neglect. Providence Police Major David LePayton says the baby boy suffered chemical burns from a household product and now police are investigating the case along with DCYF to determine if it was an accident or if there was criminal intent or negligence involved. LePayton said DCYF is requesting to keep the baby from the parents for 72 hours as the investigation continues. No charges are currently filed. DCYF says they have not had contact with this family in the past. And police tell us that baby is expected to be okay. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll tell you why the DCYF notified the public of this case today and how many similar cases there have been this year. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. But first at 6, child welfare officials are unfortunately once again investigating serious injuries to a baby. And we first reported at noon on what DCYF called a near fatality of a 16-month-old Providence boy. It's the latest in a number of cases the department has been investigating the last few months. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the new details. Steph. The Department of Children, Youth and Families, of course, handles hundreds of cases, but ones that reach a certain level of near fatality or death do need to be disclosed to the public. And that's why we found out about this 16 month old boy today who was admitted to the hospital. Police say he suffered from chemical burns. He is expected to be OK and police are now investigating. Providence police say the 16 month old baby suffered chemical burns from a household product. The Department of Children, Youth and Families notifying the public about what they called a near fatality Thursday morning. The DCYF said they are investigating allegations of abuse and neglect. Police telling us they are looking into whether this was accidental or if criminal charges are warranted. DCYF has been in the spotlight recently. A troubling report was released in March by the Office of the Child Advocate, the state's watchdog for DCYF, recommending drastic changes to the department to help protect children. In 2017 so far, DCYF has publicly reported four cases of child deaths or near fatalities. Today, reporting the near fatality of the 16-month-old in Providence. On April 4th, they reported a near fatality of a three-month-old. On March 26th, another near fatality of a five-month-old in one socket. And on February 22nd, they reported the death of a seven-month-old in Warwick, Willow Ramos. A DCYF spokesperson says if it seems like there's been an increase in these cases in recent months, that's because they weren't notifying the public before. A law signed by the governor in July now requires them to publicly disclose child deaths and near fatalities. DCYF was not immediately able to provide statistics from before that law went into effect. And it's important to note that these public disclosures from DCYF are only required when it when the case reaches the level of a near fatality or a death. That means there are, of course, many other cases of child abuse and neglect in the state that don't reach that level, such as the case we reported on yesterday of a three year old in Central Falls. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.